guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rosie Henshaw and if you're new here, then welcome, it's lovely to meet you. And if you're already existing guys, then thank you so much for coming back. So I do apologize for like my Flintstone head right now <laughs> and my crazy hair, but I'm gonna be doing a little get ready with me. And the reason I'm doing a get ready with me is because I do keep getting asked, Rosie, are you wearing makeup? Cause I know you suffer with spots. Are you gonna be wearing them cause you're wearing your masks and your face coverings? So I'm gonna do a little up to date, get ready with me. So this is what I'm gonna be doing to go out. I've got to go get my food groceries. So I thought I'd do a hair and makeup, get ready with me. Kind of like um, a mask wearing style, what I'm doing. So I will apply makeup. I have to let you know that this does include a paid promotion as well and it's in collaboration with Beauty Expert. And I've got some really lovely products. One product come last week actually, and I've been trying it out because some of these items are makeup, but one of the products that I wanted to try is because I want to know if it's going to be good and it actually does deliver the results um, before. So I've been trying it and actually it's so good that there's like four relatives from my family that have gone out and bought this. So I'm looking forward to showing you. So grab yourselves a nice cup of tea and we'll get into it and hopefully transform me from Flintstone into, I don't know, <laughs> Cara Bean would be nice, wouldn't it? Um, so I'm going to get into the video and stay tuned for the video. So we're going to get into this now. First thing I've been doing is I've washed my face and moisturised it. I've also sharpened my eyebrows on. No, I haven't. A lot of people think my eyebrows look like they're sharpened on. They do. But this is how I do my eyebrows. I thought I'd go on first with my eyebrows because I'm trying new products and I don't know if the eyebrow powder will stick to the new primers and stuff like that. So I thought if I just do my eyebrows and just avoid doing the eyebrows, that would be a good idea. Um, so the first thing I've been using is the Lisbeth Arden 8 Hour Cream. Now this is the thing where... I don't mind paying more for something if it's actually gonna deliver the results that I want. If it's not, then I don't really get it. Now, everyone knows I've been sort of using vitamin E cream from Superdrug, and it works well, but I always have quite fine lines in my forehead. And if you go on my Instagram, look back at pictures, I've even had a little moment in pictures where you can see on my forehead. But I have got to say, guys, that they have dramatically reduced, no word of a lie. Um, and obviously some of these products, they may not work for me, and I will be completely honest about it because I won't say something's good if it's not. But this one, it's got SPF 15 in it. It's hydration intense, eight hour cream. This has had so many good reviews online. So when I was able to pick these things, I based it on things that people have said are really good because I want to test whether they're good on my skin as well. Um, so I got the Elizabeth Arden New York and it's the eight hour cream and you get 50 mils of this. Now this was a pricey little number this was. This was 30 pound. But I will say, a little goes a hell of a long way. I've been using it a week, and what I've been doing is literally using about that much, like a pea-sized amount on my skin. It is so thick and creamy, it literally goes. Re look, look how far that tiny amount goes. Um, really far, and I tell you, it don't, it, it's so, it feels really greasy on, it feels rich. I don't know if it reminds me of um, the thickness of, I don't know, it comes, not Nivea Balm, it really is thick. But yeah, unlike the Nivea Balm, it doesn't feel greasy. It feels really nice and smooth. And I rub it onto all of my skin. And I tell you what, since I've been wearing this as well, my foundation has lasted a lot longer on my face, including when I've been wearing my mask as well. Um, and weirdly enough, I don't know if it's the product I've been using. Tend I have to moisturize because I really worry about wrinkles and I suffer quite badly with my skin. But actually, since I've been using this, because it's not greasy, I've got less spots than normal. So it might be this, it might not be. I don't definitely know. I wouldn't want to say in case it isn't, but this is definitely helping with my lines and my skin. And so much so that my nan, my mum and my sister, they've all gone, wow, your skin looks amazing. And they've gone out and purchased these. So, and my mum does not like spending probably more than five pounds on a moisturizer. So the fact that she got it, she must have thought that works. So we've got that. I will put all the links below. Um, in the description box if you want to try them out. This is amazing and I wanted to talk about it because I was meant to try it today and I thought I'm not trying it today. I'm doing it literally for the week so that I can tell you. So I might get in trouble for that but I don't care because I wanted to see if it was good or not and see if I'd get any breakouts. Because makeup, you kind of want to know till the end of the day if it's going to last. But that sort of thing, they promise these results but you don't see them straight away do you? So that is £30 but it does go a long way. I can see that lasting me a good few months to be honest. I probably have to buy that maybe like three maybe four times a year. So that's definitely on my new list. I kind of hate sometimes when a product is really good and it's a bit more expensive because then you've got to stick to it. <laughs> a bit annoying, isn't it? Um, so next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a little bit of a primer. So I'm having to wear primer lately because like I said, 
the foundation is just rubbing off with the masks on. So I got the ordinary. Now the ordinary is just like so cheap and cheerful, isn't it? I think this was like £6. So it's amazing. Everyone's been raving about this on Instagram. This seems to be the Instagram makeup situation going on. I thought there was like a, a bird trying to come in my window then. Um, so, and also not long had a shower. So there's a little bit of a misty screen in the background. It's real life, guys. So I haven't done anything for you. I do apologise. Um, so this is the it's High Adherent Silicone Primer. And I'm going to try this. This is 30 mil, And I think this was about £6. And I'm just going to put a little bit on my hand. See how far this goes. Oh, actually, I've squirted right in my face. It's got a little metal tag on it. Let's pull this off. Oh. Hope you guys are all nice and well. Oh, that's nice and creamy as well. So it's like a really similar texture, actually. It's got that ultra shiny, but don't... Oh, this does feel a bit heavy, actually. I get a bit nervous, but I've got quite com like combination and quite bad skin. When I feel something's too heavy on my skin, I can just have nightmares of me waking up tomorrow morning with literally spots all over my face. See what it's like once I rub it in. Oh, do you know what? It feels latexy. You know like when you rub something in, it starts to feel... Oh, is it mattifying? It's making me go a bit matte. Adherence, yeah, blurring. Oh, I do a bit of that in my life. A bit blurry. That's really nice. You know, it's starting to feel like um, the more you rub it in with the your fingers and the heat, it's starting to go a little bit like less thick and it feels really matte. <laughs> it feels matte. <laughs> it feels really matte, guys. It really does. It feels like matte. Not Dave, not Sherman. Matte. It feels matte. Um, yeah, but that's really nice. So, to be honest, I'm not like an overly fussed one with primers. I'm just like, give me a primer, make sure my foundation stays on long. But that, I'll go as far to say that's really nice. And to be fair, that's like blurred out the little wrinkles on my hand compared. Look how, look how smooth my little hand is. I might have to start rubbing that on my uh, sewing lot on my bum. Maybe that'll work. Right, where's the foundation? That would help, wouldn't it? So I also wanted to stick to the ordinary foundation. I heard this. I'm not a makeup expert, but I heard if you get the same foundation as what you get is your primer, it should work better because they've got very similar chemicals. So I thought I'd give it a little bash. Um, so I've got the fondant tint serum. So this is a, this is a light coverage foundation, and it's got light pink undertones in it. It's a 1.2p. That's the colour I got it in. It's also got SPF 15 in it, which I love because sometimes if I'm being lazy, I just want to work it over my face a little bit. So I'm hoping that this will be light enough that it sort of blurs my skin a bit together, covers blemishes a little bit. Obviously, I can use like a concealer if I've got really bad skin. But luckily enough, most of my spots are sort of cheek area and chin and round here. And the mask is kind of covering that. So I thought, I want to get something nice and light. And I don't want to feel like really hot and sweaty. Because I'm finding at the minute, the mask is not helping the situation, is it? So I've got my little foundation brush from Primark. I'm absolutely loving all their little makeup artist bits. Like the little brushes. I think they're really cute. So I'm going to give a little, a little go on my skin. See if this is any good. It is really like coverage. But it just gets rid of this sort of like baggy area. That's actually quite good, you know. Considering that's a light coverage, I find when I use like a high coverage one, I tend to get the results that, like, do you know what I mean? That I want. Actually, for light coverage, I think that's pretty good. And yes, I am still putting foundation. I kept getting asked, do you put foundation on? Because I went to the shops the other day and everyone was saying, are you actually wearing foundation to run under your mask? I don't think many of you might not, I don't think many of you are, but I still am because, you know, if you do then go for something to eat and you've got to take it off, I'm just gonna look like really random. Up like a yin yang sign. A, what's a yin to my yang? Whatever it is. I look like one of them. I'll have like a half dark face because I'm really, really pale. And then a half light face, which I just weren't feeling. Oh, goodness me. What was on there? <laughs> I wanted to pick a light colour because I bought a little contour. I thought I'm going to give a little contour a go. I didn't want to be super pale, but I don't know if I've gone a bit too light. Maybe I'll like shade it up. But for £6, this was £6 for which is cheaper than my, my Rimmel one, which is amazing, really. But everyone's been raving about this. This seems to be like the new Instagram foundation everyone's talking about. And to be fair, that is a really light coverage, yet that is sort of blended my skin quite nicely together. I feel nice. And do you know what? I don't even need some light coverage. I don't even need to go over my neck, which I really like. I really like that, guys. I do. And I like this light coverage so that my light face mask isn't just going to be like covered completely with like, because my face mask is black, pure foundation. 
So I did get a little treat. So that was six pound and you get, how many meals do you get of that? 30 meals, but that a little does go a long way. You saw the little tiny drop that I put in the little hole of the foundation brush. Twice I had to do that because I've got quite a large, I've got five heads. So I had to make sure there was enough on my five head. So I have been seeing beauty gurus, YouTubers using this. And you know, you just think, I really want to get that. But is it worth it? I want to try out. So I've been really lucky to receive these. So I thought, you know what? Prime example to try it out. And if it isn't any good, then I'll let you know. And if it isn't, then we won't bite no more girls. That's fine. So I, I can be the um, I can be the daring one. I can test this out so you don't have to waste our money. How much was this? Powder was £26. It's Illamasqua. I'm not even telling you what it is, am I? Illamasqua and it's loose powder. The reason why this brought me over is because I see all these girls and they're like baking their face and they look amazing. It's like they look all contoured and stuff. When I do it, I literally look like, you know when you go into the baking area and they put like the little sugar powder on top of the cakes? That's what my face ends up looking like when I try and bake. <laughs> literally, I look like something that's been baked. So I got myself a little cheap pound beauty blender for this because I'm not probably going in, guys. I'm really trying to like be one of these beauty experts. Just like, we're going to say all that random words, snatched. Snatch was like I thought when a child took a toy with another to to kid, but... You know, you learn something every day. So I'm going to get the be my beauty blender and I'm going to tap it into some of the Illamasqua powder, the powder of dreams. Is that right? It's cracking a little bit. I don't know if that's right. And I'm going to go under, press it in. If it don't work, guys, then it's fine. I'll go as it the clown for Halloween. And we'll be okay. I need to, I need to know if this is good. I need to know if this is like, when they're raving about it, and I want to use my like hard-earned money, Gary's hard-earned money. <laughs> I want to know that it's good enough. No, every wife knows what mine, what's, what's that saying? It, what's, it, what's mine is yours, and what's yours is, no, what's, no, what's yours is mine, and what's mine is mine. It isn't like that, really. I've got a good man. Right, let's go. So I'm going to do a little contour. Look, check me out, give a little look at that. Who's Snatched now? No, we're not talking about kids' toys. Me, that's who. I'm Snatched. <laughs> I'm from East London, so Snatch means something else, so I'll just get off that, because it feels like every time things just get a little bit frisky. Get a bit rude. Do you go down your nose with this? I'm gonna try it, though. Why not? I look like I've been in the cakes, don't I? That is what I look like. I'm in, like, you know, Aldi, middle section, cakes, brownies. I'm always that person that takes the paper bag up to the counter. Not at the moment, obviously, because of corona. But I'll take my paper bag up and they're like, what was in this? I was like, four brownies. And they realise I'm not with anyone else. And they realise that I've eaten them all by myself while doing shopping. And it ain't even like my big weekly shop. It's like I picked up toothpaste. <laughs> you know. Well, I tell you what. That ain't hard to blend in, guys. I know you meant to get like a big brush to... Oh, I'm to get a brush. I'm going to do what they do. Because I don't want to ruin it for you. And then we sort of like... Well, I'll tell you what, normally by now, I would be pure white there. And I swear by my makeup revolution stuff. But actually, that's just like, I'm just like, this is easy breezy, guys. Oh, I don't really like that. So, I'd say so far. Yeah, darling. So, Gary, they've just been to the skip. And he's back. He's like, mum, I'm home. I want to see mummy. So this looks really nice, really like this. I think this is worth it. If it's gonna stay on all day and not make me look greasy, I'm gonna give you a little update, guys, as well, because I just think it's fair. If you're gonna be paying out all this money for stuff like this, you need to sort of know whether it's gonna last. Initial results to put it on is amazing, absolutely amazing. It feels glossy and silky, really nice. It's made me look dewy. How is that even possible? Put powder on, I still look dewy. I look dewy, but it's not greasy if that makes sense it's dried it all out so i really like this but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go on my instagram later actually and i'm gonna update you to see whether it's lasted after a few hours we'll let you know because i'm doing a roast dinner as well so i'll be all sweating out so i'll let you know if it lasts the test of time but 26 pound and how much do you get in there 15 grams that is a big pot that guys it's a really big pot but look I've got five heads, so it's like a, a big part. So now I'm going to get the nip and fab. So I've got this set. This is £15, which I think is really reasonable. And the reason I really like this is because I tend to fake tan. Sometimes I don't. I'm either really pale, really brown. And then as it's wearing off, I'm a lighter colour. So I've always having to buy um, different bronzers. 
So like room all they're like five pound of bronzer, so I'm not getting like three anyway. So 15 pound, you get a few, and then you get some with like glittery tones if you're going out and you want a bit of a shimmer. You've got matte tones. So this is the Nip and Fab bronzer palette. And I just thought it was good that you get different colours. I really did, because I thought as I get a bit darker, and I'm going to use it as a bit of a contour as well. I like it when you can get a product when you don't have to get more products, if that makes sense. It's all in one. Um, so this is number one bronze, bronzer palette. You get four times 3.8 grams, or like 0.13 ounces. Right, Cool Bath Soft Tan Bronze Glow Champagne Shimmer. What are we gonna go for, guys? I think, because I'm a pal, I'm gonna give this a little bash, and I'm gonna try and do a bit of a contour. And say, like, obviously, be prepared, guys. Don't, you're not gonna learn nothing from me. We're just gonna work out if the products, if you're not good at makeup, see if they're good, because actually, I'm so rubbish at makeup. If I can do it well, then you know the products are working. Look at me there, I've got a sideburn. <laughs> Come on, little ginger sideburn. No, I think I'm gonna go a bit darker. It's nice and powdery, which is a good sign as it's a powder. Um, <laughs> I think I'm gonna do this with a little bronzing brush. I'm a cheeky little swirl, look. I'm a little bit hyper, sweating out in the echoey bathroom. <laughs> Now we're gonna go to around the shopping market like this, so be prepared guys. Whatever I look like today is what I'm gonna look like. Lucky enough, my hair only takes me two seconds, so. And I've had some blondes put through guys, so I wanna show you that as well. I'm gonna blend this through. And actually, do you know what? I'm gonna go over my cheeks a little bit as well, because that's how I put my makeup on. I'm not, a, I don't bronze. I want to be a bit natural, you know? I want people to look at me and just be like, do you know what, I wish I woke up like that. She's just such, such a natural beauty. Look how lovely and flawless her skin is. And I'm like, Whoa. and I know that I look like a little crow in the morning. Sneaky squirrel, I told you. Right, so put some on the cheeks. And then I'm gonna go in with a little like shimmery, but I don't know what ones I was using, guys. I was basically using the darker one, not the ginger side burn one. And I've got like a little champagne glow. So I see these girls got this. And put a bit of oh, look how shiny that is. Oh, look at that. Look at me glowing. I'll be burning, I'll be burning. I'm feeling good in this. I like the colours and I like that I ain't iridescent. Sometimes I look a little bit like, like you know like when you get a steak and it goes off in the fridge and it gets that weird green shine on it? Sometimes I've got a bit heavy <laughs> And I look like I've gone off steak, so. I don't know what's more embarrassing, the fact that I look like I've gone off steak, or the fact that I've let a steak stay in my fridge so long that I know what it looks like. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I could lie to you guys, but it's true. It gets that weird shine on it. I shove things in my fridge. This is this is pre-organized. I've done an organized on my channel, and this was, oh, look at this. Look how, my, look how little my little nose looks with this little shimmer. So that's what I like, I've gone bronze. It's even like, see if I can put a bit of peachy, like sort of orange on my cheeks. To make me look a little bit, a little bit like I've been caught in the glass. I really like this actually. To be fair, this is no dearer than the ones I buy anyway, because like I say, I buy a few. So this is actually quite worth it. And that shimmer, I'm going to have to check the natural light. Oh, the natural light's really nice actually. I like that. I've got a little tip, girls. If you have a bit of a double chin like me, if you go with a dark colour, under your neck there, it gets rid of the double chin. So I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> a little Christmas turkey. And I'm gonna go on my little chesty area. That's like not actually wearing it like that. It's because I've moved it out of the way purposely to bronze up myself. Well, I really like that, guys. I really, really like that. I like it when I like everything because I know I'm too honest and I know that brands will just be like, I'm not gonna work for it no more. She basically said our, our products were rubbish, so, you know, get myself into trouble. I'm not gonna go overly with the eyes. Now, I will say this, I wear contact lenses and I find the steam from the mask comes out, makes my eyes water, because it really dries my eyes out, and then I'm like this, all eyeshadow and mascara around my eyes. So I've been wearing a little bit of mascara. This is just my Topshop one. I've still, it's just one that I've still got. I use any mascaras. I will say, Beauty Expert do have a lovely little range of mascaras on there. It's a place where you can get it all in one place. It is really reasonable, they've got offers on, on there. And it is a nice website to buy things from actually, really good. Good custom service I've had. And I like that it's all in one place and I like that you get higher brands or low brands. So lower price black, blah, 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 blah. lower price 
brands on there so I find like you know like when you get really nice brands sometimes you go out because the only time I really buy nice expensive makeup is around Christmas and I just try and make it last me all year so I'll go into Debenhams but then I've got to go into Superdrug and at the minute with all the queuing it's quite nice that there is an online website that sells high end with low end and they do sell lots of like skincare as well the next thing I'm going to show you I knew it was good because Gary complimented me on it and I thought do you know what if Gary's complimented me on it it's got to be good. And then I looked online and it's been, it sounds like Grazia Awards, Mary Claire, loads of places and it's just amazing. And I'm also gonna put a tiny bit of my MAC top lipstick on because I feel like my lips look a bit. I'm just gonna dab it like that. And then, oh, <laughs> that weren't meant. I just always do it with my middle finger because normally this is my little blending eyeshadow finger. So my middle finger is just blend it in a little bit. And then I picked up did I say how much that like, different bag was I did? And then I picked up this. Now, I've always wanted a Pixie brand. I want to try this little Pixie brand out. So this is Pixie Skin Treats, makeup fixing mist with rose water, green tea. So I really wanted to try this. This is 80 mils. How much was this? £16. Now I spend £12 on the Makeup Revolution one anyway. So it's £4 dearer. You do get more in it. And I've heard so so many good things about having rose water in it as well. A lot of people are saying when having like um having um basically um a, oh, a toner or even like a setting spray see i'm no good makeup i was trying to think of what the name was of it a toner as well with rose water it's meant to be really good for your skin really cooling and calming so i'm going to give it a little go it's quite a cool little pump to that but i'm a bit scared i think the nozzle's a bit big it might come out and just spray me a little bit random That's a bit ferocious. Like the smell, like the feel, it feels like a cold, fresh, and some, sometimes my one, I spray a bit on and it does feel like my face is dripping. It feels like it's almost like a, a wet, dry mist. <laughs> it's quite good, but it shoots out so fast, I don't like the feel of that when I put that on my face. Yeah, I think that's a bit ferocious actually. It smells amazing. Maybe try a bit from further. I'm going to be have a really wet face in a minute. I think that's a walk into one, girls. You know, you. Oh, look at me. I don't look attractive, my little sweaty, wet face. But it's fine. We're going to let my little sweaty, wet face dry. I think that's it with the makeup. Right. I'm going to let my little sweaty face. My little sweaty face. <laughs> Right, so while that's going on, and I'm going to show you this, this is my little wool pulling thing, and I'm just like, I've kept it out in the box on the side because it just looks so pretty. I love the look of Elizabeth Arden stuff. So this is the eight hour cream, but the all over miracle oil. Guys, I'm going to show you my little like freckly dry arm. Right, be amazed. You get it. This is eight hour, it lasts all day, and it really does last all day. And I even went to the beach, and I wasn't that sticky that all the sand got stuck to me. It was amazing. And you get 100 ml of this. It smells like you are in literally Hawaii. It smells amazing, and a little goes a hell of a long way. And I just, it almost makes me look bronzy, even though it's got no bronzing agent in it at all. It just sort of bounces the light off. Look how beautiful that bounces the light off my skin. I've never had shapely legs, guys. Now, I've always had really chunky legs. And even when I fake tan them, they just look matte and chunky. When I put this on, it gave like the rim at the side of my leg a shine. It made it look like, you know when you have that muscle line in your legs where they're so like, they get that, that shape. It, it made it look like it was an illusion because the light bounced off. It, look, look how much light is bouncing off my arm. It's amazing, I love it. And my mum was like, I'm gonna nick that. I was like, no, you're not. You're not. You can get your own one, thanks. And this one was, <laughs> and this one was twenty nine pound. And to be completely honest, it isn't like a massive bottle for twenty nine pound. I will be honest. But the, my thing for this is, this would be a summer thing that I'd buy. When I'm wearing tights, I won't bother wearing it. I don't feel like it is moisturising, but E45 cream may just be as good. I'm being completely honest. I can't lie to you guys. I'm being honest. But, do you know what this is amazing for? Honestly, I've never felt so confident wearing a dress with having my legs out. It gave me, the, you know, like the legs that like they've just been shaved and they're smooth and they look like they've got like the little tongue muscle lines. Like, I li literally look like I, I was like... I don't know, a, an athlete. <laughs> I look like an athlete, you know, with that on, and my legs don't lie. 
So I really like that. I thought that was really good. But yet again, like I say, I would not, I wouldn't say spend all that money just to have an all over body oil. It does smell amazing, so I've just got to wash my hands. And it is really nice, and it has got nice moisturizing properties. But what won me over for that is probably because it made me look really glowy. It made my skin look amazing. That made me feel good. And because it bounces the light off, it sort of made my cellulite look less. It's crazy. And I've always said, I don't care that I've got cellulite. I don't care that my legs aren't muscular or whatever. Because I am what I am and I love what I am. But when I put that on, it just made me feel extra special. It really did. And I got to still eat cake. So that's one thing that you can do. Still eat cake and get really beautiful shiny legs. So I'm going to get onto my hair now. I'm going to put all the links with these products below. And I'm also going to go on my Instagram and let you know about all the powders and stuff. And my face has dried really nice. It's dried not matte. It's still really dewy. Considering most of them products are powders, it's gone on really nice. So, just going to do a quick... I do apologise, guys. My phone just died there. It wasn't battery died. What it was, I set a timer. I put a chicken in. <laughs> so, my timer went off. So, I'm going to put my straighteners on and heat them up. And we're going to go over my hair. And then we're going to get ready for our shopping trip. I feel really good. I feel really glowy. I feel like I look youthful. I look young. That cream, my favourites, I will go as far to say my favourites are, for my legs would be the eight hour cream. That's like, that's a luxury. I definitely think that should be on anyone's Christmas list because that's a little luxury. I love that. But the most favourite thing is probably that cream because I'm noticing they're still there. But if you go on Instagram, you'll see pictures of before, like genuinely, I had full on bulge lines there, which they've just gone to little crow cre creases now, which I really like. Let's put my straighteners on. So I'd go as far to say my least favourite product is probably that, just because I, I'm spraying the hell out of my face with that, and I was a little bit like, shit myself in the face for it. I'm going to see how the powder gets on, but I think with the Ordinary, I think it's lived up to it, to be honest. A lot of people have been recommending it on Instagram, and I have sort of thought, is it a bit of a fad? Is it because everyone else on Instagram is saying it's good? No, that's really good, and apparently it's really good for people that have got um, bad skin like myself, which is quite good at the moment. And obviously, like I said, I don't know if it's the cream or not, but I think it's helped by not having such greasy things on my face. So now I'm just going to go in with my hair. I'm just going to pick up sections. My hair's pretty good already. If I don't, if I don't say for myself, my hair's pretty good already because I did get it done the other day. Um, and my hair tends to stay in for a few days anyway. So just with the straighteners, I'm just gonna curl it under. Just smooth it a bit more out. So I'm just gonna try and go with the flow of what my hair is already. And one little tip is, you might like your hair super straight. I just find by going under a little bit with the straighteners, it just gives it that really classier look. And I probably do to cut my bangs in, because I cut, even though my hairdresser does my hair, the only thing I say don't touch is my fringe. <laughs> I don't, she probably could do a far better job than me to be fair, but my bangs, they're my babies and I cut them in. So literally this section of my hair <laughs> don't get touched. Cause I don't know, I just got, I just got fringe phobia. I tell you, fringe phobia. I'm just so scared because I've had a few times where, you know, when you have your girls round and you have like a little drink or something. And then your friend that done hairdressing at college once that ain't touched hair in about 10 years decides to go, do you know what? I'll cut your fringe in. And it's the most amazing idea because you've had a drink and you're like, yeah, cut me a fringe in. And I literally, ugh, it's the worst thing ever. I looked like I had a furry crash helmet on. It was awful. You know, like a bike helmet, but a hairy one. It looked like that. It was dreadful. <laughs> so, yeah, I think I'm just, she's just scared me. And she knows that as well. I was like, you've ruined my chances of ever having my fringe cut in a hairdresser's ever again. So then... I'm going to scoop it up, but one thing I will say is what makes my hair last a lot longer is I use Batiste Dry Shampoo. I'm going to try not to put too much on though because I'm going to try and make it last again tomorrow and I don't want my head to start getting itchy. One thing I have been using, if I can find it, yeah, I've got it in a haul, I think I've got it from Home Bargains or something. I use the John Frieda Frizzies Original Serum for the medium to thick hair. And so it's enough that it goes through my thick hair, I'd have to put loads in, but it really just the ends because I find, you know when you haven't washed the ends, and you need to put conditioner on it to sort of give it like a nice, it sort of just makes it go shiny again like the rest of the hair. Just wipe this on myself because that's what I do. <laughs> and then, this is my go shopping with me, get ready. And then I'll have my like, my little mask on so that I'm just gonna, for, for, for illustration purposes, this is me. So, this is, this is what I look like. <laughs> so yeah, I'm really happy. 
improve my little look actually. I wanted to say sorry as well. So I'm uploading this video. We've been doing the sun house down the end of the garden, so I literally haven't had time to come on. I've got my wood ready to do the paneling this week. I'm gonna do the wood paneling this week, guys. I've got a couple of little holes coming up. So I've got my DIY paneling coming up. I've also got a try and haul as well. And this try and haul, I'm really excited about that. And I can't wait on the clothes yet because it's hanging up on the wardrobe, waiting for me to try it on. I'm like, oh no, I can't wear it. Can't really be putting on a wet top because I've done that before. I wore all the clothes if it was wet or creased because I couldn't move to iron it. So <laughs> I thought, oh, for goodness sake. So yeah, I'm going to be doing that this week. So hopefully we'll catch up and I'm getting back into it. So I do apologise that I haven't been as frequent my videos and on time or scheduled but i hope you enjoyed this video i've been rosie henshaw if you'd like to subscribe that'd be lovely and it's completely free to do so if you like this video give it a little thumbs up and a little comment thank you again for all the lovely comments and i'm going to leave all the links in the description box below for these products and yeah i'm going to let you know in a little touch up and anyone that doesn't have instagram what I will do is, is when I do my next video, I will let you know how the pad held up as well, because that's only fair, isn't it? Um, so I've been Rosie Henshaw. Take care. See you later. Bye.